In today's video, I'm going to tell you how I built an extension arm for my medium-sized crosscut sled. The purpose of the extension arm is to allow me to put a 42-inch or 44-inch stop block on a crosscut sled that's only 20 inches wide. It's a little bit hard to put a stop block out here in the middle of nowhere. And I don't want to have a little sled and a great big sled. I've already got a mini sled and a medium sized sled. So here's what I came up with. I took three pieces of Baltic birch plywood and I cut them all three inches wide, about 44 inches long. You could do longer if, if you uh, have the space. That was about all I could do and still be able to walk around it. I took those pieces of Baltic birch plywood and before I laminated them together, I put some various dovetail slots in going different directions. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I had in this one that's the furthest outside, I wanted to have an inward facing or one that faced toward me dovetail slot in at least two places, you know, within the, the distance of this uh, wing here of my sled. So I've got that. With that cut first, it's gonna be a little hard to cut those if you've already laminated this together. I then laminated these three pieces of Baltic birch together. And I, in order to get them to go straight, I put a uh, 42 inch leveler metal leveler with nice square edges on it against this. That's a technique I saw by uh, 3x3 Tamar. She showed laminating some plywood together and you know while it's drying up have it all braced with a leveler so that it would dry straight. That doesn't mean it'll stay straight forever but when you got three pieces of stable uh, Baltic birch is probably going to last for quite a while without getting any curves in it. All right, so I laminated that together. I also put a little um, taper on the bottom inside edge here so that there's a place for sawdust. And then I routed uh, a track for the depth of a T track and I inserted a T-track into most of this. I just happened to use one that I had left over. If I had a longer one, I probably would have used it, but I don't have any real need for it to be down here because I'm not gonna use that stop block down here. When I'm doing cuts down here, I'm not gonna have this. This will be hanging up on the wall. All right, so I have the T-track in there. I purchased this from Jonathan Katz Moses and it's his stop block really, really nicely engineered with the ability to do micro adjustments and also change the height. So that's a nice device. The other thing I did was I took a uh, rule that is from FastCap and they sell that with a two-sided tape. Anyway, I took about 45, 47 inches of that and I put it down on this sled and then I cut, the sl cut it right at the zero spot, you know, and I edged up and edged up and edged up to that until I could finally put down my measuring tape and see that it was accurate all the way along. So kind of a little calibrating. So now I have this fence. So if I'm gonna do 12, 15, 200, and I need to get them to be um, 42 inches, long each or whatever the length is, which normally I wouldn't be able to do on this crosscut sled. And I don't want to have, you know, different crosscut sleds. I don't want to have a big wide one for some applications and then a medium sized one. I've only got so much wall space, folks. So I want to have one like this. Depending on how accurate I need to be will determine how much time I need to spend in order to line up this edge with the, where you can see where the kerf is. So most cuts, you don't have to be that precise. So get that lined up and then use the match fit dovetail clamp from micro jig. And probably uh, advisable to have it kind of secured in at least two places so it won't slide around or anything.
My back fence here is perfectly 90 degrees. Well, within reason, I use the William Ng five cut method to, to build my sled and I test it every once in a while. And if it ever got out of alignment, by the way, you could just use some uh, painter's tape along the edge to make the proper adjustment. But so far, mine has not moved and has not needed it. And you see, and because this is 90 degrees, then this is nice and square and stable. And so it's 90 degrees in, in the face here. And now I've got the ability to take this stop lock and put it wherever I want to put it. So. I wanted, I did a bunch of cuts at 42 inches, so let me demonstrate that it's, uh, and the whole idea of a stop block is repeatability. It, it's uh, much more difficult to take 12, 15, 18 pieces of wood that you dimension and just constantly measure off 42 inches and mark it. You're liable to mark it differently. You're liable to cut on a different side of the line and everything else. So having a stop block is an extremely good idea. With a stop block, even if it was slightly off, not, not precisely 42 inches, at least all of your cuts are gonna be precisely the same. And that's really what you're after. And that is how I accomplish having a stop block way out there somewhere beyond the margins of my crosscut sled. Easy to build, easy to put away. Let me demonstrate. Take out those uh, match fit dovetail clamps. And take a Forstner bit on your drill press or with your hand drill, get one big enough for whatever you put up in your rafters to hang up some of your jigs and uh, I just hang that puppy right up there, out of the way. If you ever feel like you get any value out of our little videos, then give me a subscription. And uh, give me a comment. It's always nice to know that somebody actually made it to the end of the video and saw that I was requesting a comment. Uh, any likes you could give me would be much appreciated. If you'd like to throw a couple dollars a month my way on Patreon, that is most appreciated as well. Small Workshop Guy, I hope you found this idea to be good for your little crosscut sled. Signing off. Uh, take out those match fit jokes. <laughs> if you ever feel like you get any value out of my little videos, <clears throat> I'm try that again. So again, not again, I, I don't, I don't, stop saying so, stop saying again, just get ready to talk, and then when you're ready, actually talk. <laughs> That's what I did. Now I'm a little concerned that it's not lining up. Well, that's 42 inches precisely. Did I move that? That's 42 inches precisely, so why wasn't that lining up? Oh, because I don't have a square edge there. That's not, that's not 90 degrees, something not 90 degrees there. So let's get that. Now oh, that's interesting. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what I had was I had the uh, <laughs> I didn't have one of these. In the slot, it's a little hard to get it flat and level if you don't have both the uh, 5 8 inch puppies in the slot. So let's try that again. Ta da! Now that's perfect. All right, so.